Good day, grade 8 students! Welcome to a new learning episode. This is Miss Aika, your math study buddy. Before we start, kindly prepare the following. Your math 8 self-learning module, pen and paper for note-taking, and most importantly is to find a place in your home where you feel comfortable to study and learn. So just keep watching, intending mabuti ang mga sinasabi sa video, especially pag nagbibigay tayo ng examples, because this video will guide you in answering your activities. This video is just an additional example regarding solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So in solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles, we are going to apply here the CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Let us have an example. We have here triangle TRY and triangle BUN. So, with these two given triangles, we are going to solve for the value of n. Before that, we are going to identify first the corresponding congruent angles and corresponding congruent sides of our triangles. So, let's start with angles. So, we have angle T, which is congruent to angle B. Then, we also have here angle R which is congruent to angle U. And lastly, we have angle Y, which is congruent to angle N. So, di ba? Isa sa technique natin ay kung ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng pangalan ng triangle, yun na din yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng kanyang corresponding parts. So, angle T corresponds to angle B, angle R corresponds to angle U, and angle Y corresponds to angle N. Now, let us have the corresponding congruent sides. So, we have here um, side TR, which is congruent to side BU. Or, pwedeng sa name din kayo tumingin. TR corresponds to BU. Then, we also have here side RY which is congruent to side UN. So, ito naman siya, RY and UN. And lastly, we have here side TY, which is congruent to side BN. So, this is TY and this is BN. TY and BN. So, easy, di ba? Now, using this corresponding congruent parts, we can now solve for the value of N. Nasaan ba yung N natin? So, yung N natin, makikita natin dito sa angle N. We have here the quantity 2N plus 10 degrees. So, wahanapin natin yung value ng N na yun. So, we all know that angle Y is congruent to angle N. Okay? So, dahil congruent sila, meaning yung measures nila ay equal. So, angle Y is equal to angle N. We have here the measure of angle Y, which is 50 degrees. So, angle Y is 50 degrees. Then, ano yung angle N natin? Ang angle natin is in expression form. We have 2N plus 10 degrees. Okay. So, now we're going to solve for N. So, pwede tayo mag-transpose dito ng mga values para kung meron tayong kaya i-combine, ipag-combine natin. Okay, so we have here. So, we write natin yung ating equation. So, yung equation natin, negative 2N is equal to 10 degrees minus, 40, minus 50 degrees. So, bakit siya naging negative? Kasi from left, inilipat natin siya sa right. So, don't forget to change the sign. Positive 2N, kapag inilipat sa kabilang side, magiging negative 2N. So, nag-change tayo ng sign kapag tatawid sila dun sa equal sign natin. So, dun kayo lagi magbabase. Then, si 50 degrees, naging negative 50 degrees kasi tumawid siya dun sa equal sign. So, let's now um, simplify this one. So, negative 2N is equal to 10 minus 50 degrees. That is negative 40 degrees. Now, meron na ba tayong value ng N? Wala pa din. Kasi meron ba tayong negative 2 sa katabi ni N? So, we need to eliminate that. So, paano natin siya i-eliminate? Yes, of course, we are going to divide both sides by negative 2 para maiwan natin si 
n because negative 2 divided by negative 2 that is 1. So we have their n is equal to 20. So that is the value of our n. We have there 20 degrees or simply 20. Okay. So we have there the value of n which is 20. So kapag sinubstitute natin yan dito sa hinahanap natin, we have there 2n plus 10 degrees. So, substitute lang natin yung n which is 20. We have 2 times 20 plus 10. So, 2 times 20 is 40 plus 10. That is 50 degrees. So, pareho si angle Y at si angle N na 50 degrees because they are corresponding to each other. That means they are congruent or they have the same measure. Okay, so let us complete the table given triangle TRY and triangle BUY. So let us name first the corresponding congruent parts of our triangles. So we have your angle T, which is an angle. So let's find its corresponding congruent angle. So we have angle T is congruent to angle B. Angle R is congruent to angle U. And angle TYR is congruent to angle BYU. Now, let's find the corresponding congruent side. So, we have side TR is congruent to side BU. Side RY is congruent to side UY. And side TY is congruent to side BY. Okay, so complete na yung ating corresponding congruent parts. Now, we're going to give the measures of the following. So, let us have the side BU. So, side BU is this one. So, kung makikita nyo, ang meron ng given measures ay si side TR na merong 7 cm, si side RY na mayroong 11 cm, at si side BY na mayroong 5 cm. So, ibase natin sila sa corresponding congruent parts na nakuha natin. So, si BU, ang pa-corresponding niya ay si TR. So, meron ba tayong measures ng side TR? Yes, meron, which is 7 cm. That means, si side BU ay 7 cm then Because they are corresponding to each other, that means they have congruent or equal measures. Next, we have side TY. So, side TY corresponds to side BY. Therefore, dahil ang measures ng BY natin ay 5 cm, that means si TY is also 5 cm. Diba? Napakadali. Basta maisulat nyo lang yung corresponding parts nila, makukuha nila ng mabilis yung mga measures. So, we have also here side UY. Ang corresponds niya ay si side RY. So, RY is 11 cm. That means side UY is also 11 cm. Okay, move naman tayo kay angles. So, ang given angles lang natin ay si angle R, ito, which is 50 degrees. Si angle B, which is 70 degrees. Okay, so we have your angle T. Ang correspond si angle T ay si angle B, which has a measures of 70 degrees. That means si angle T, 70 degrees then. Then, next we have angle U. So, ang corresponds ni angle U ay si angle R, which has 50 degrees angle measure. So, 50 degrees then si angle U. Next, we have your angle TYR. Mam, bakit ganun? Yung dalawang angle ay one vertex or vertex lang ang ginamit. Pero si TYR, three points ang ginamit. So, dito, three points ang ginamit natin kasi, as you can see, nagsishare sa isang vertex yung ating dalawang triangles and that is the vertex Y. Kapag sinabi natin angle Y lang, aling angle Y yon? Yung angle Y ba sa TRY o yung angle Y ba sa BUY? So, hindi natin? Sure. Kaya, three points ang gagamitin natin if may makikita kayong vertex na pinag-sheshiran ng dalawang triangles natin. Okay, now we have here angle TYR. Meron ba tayong measures for angle TYR? So, ito yung angle na yon. Meron ba? 
Wala. So, we may apply here the triangle sum theorem para makuha natin yung measure ng angle TYR natin. So, missing angle natin si TYR. Then, add natin yung dalawang measures na meron tayo which are 50 degrees and 70 degrees and equate it to 180 degrees. Then, simplify it. We have 120 degrees 100 is equal to 180 degrees. So, transpose natin sa kabila si 120 degrees minus 120 degrees. What will be the measure of our missing angle? 180 minus 120 that is 60 degrees. That means, yung missing angle natin na angle X ay 60 degrees. Therefore, we can say that triangle TYR is equal to 60 degrees. So, tama kaya measurement ng triangles natin or angles ng triangles? Pwede natin siyang i-add para ma-sure natin na equal siya sa 180 degrees. So, 70 plus 50 is 120 plus 60, that is 180 degrees. So, tama ang measurements ng ating interior angles. Okay, so that's how we can solve for the values of our corresponding congruent parts of the given congruent triangles. Let's have another example. So, we have here a given triangle RSV is congruent to triangle TVS. So, we're going to find the values of X and Y. But for that, we are going to identify first the corresponding congruent parts of our triangles. So let us first have the corresponding congruent angles. So we have there, angle, we have here angle R is congruent to angle T. Then we also have here, as you can see, nag-share sa same vertex vertex yung ating dalawang triangle. So, una, nag-share sila dito sa vertex S, then nag-share din sila dito sa vertex V. So, if merong more than one angle sa vertex na yun, then we're going to use three points in naming that angle. So, we're going to name this angle using three points as well as this angle using three points. So, ganun din po dito. So, name natin siya ng Take three points or using three points. We have here angle RSV. So, ito si RSV. Okay? So, next we have there the angle TVS. Ayan. Kasi sila yung magka-congruent. So, TVS. As you can see, pareho silang may small square. That means pareho silang 90 degree angle. So, itong angle na to, yung pag-congruent ng angle na ito. Okay? So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na angle S is congruent to angle V. Kasi alin dyan yung angle S? Eh, dalawa yun. Dalawa yung angle S natin dun sa vertex na yun. Alin dyan yung angle V? Eh, dalawa din yung angle dun sa vertex V. So, para mas specific ang ating naming ng angle, we are going to use three points. And for the last one, we have angle RVS. So, this is RVS. So, itong angle na to, congruent sa angle na ito, which is named as TSV or angle TSV. So, they are congruent to each other. So, here are the corresponding congruent angles. Now, let us move on with the corresponding congruent sides. So, we have there line segment RS which is congruent to line segment TV. So, ito siya. Then, we also have there the line segment SV, which is congruent to line segment VS. So, as you can see, naka-rotate and naka-flip yung ating triangles. So, kapag ito ay rotate natin, papunta dito, ayan. So, mag-overlap sila perfectly. Okay? So, now, let us have another one. We have the line segment RV, which is congruent to line segment TS. Ayan. So, here are our corresponding congruent parts. So, now, let us solve for X. So, nasan ba si X? Ayun. So, hahanapin natin yung measure ng angle na ito. 
So we have there, angle P is congruent to angle R. So we're going to apply here the triangle sum theorem. So let us solve for the value of X. Okay, so for X, we have here angle T, which is congruent to angle R. Bakit si angle T? Kasi nasa kanya yung X na hahanapin natin. So, dahil congruent sila, meaning ang measures nila ay dapat din na equal. Okay, they have an equal measure. Ayan. So, let us have here angle R plus 90 degrees. So, apply natin yung, ano ha, yung triangle sum theorem plus 78 degree is equal to 180 degrees. Ma'am, saan po nang galing yung 90? Eh, 78 degrees lang po yung nasa triangle RBS or RSB. So, nang galing po si 90 degree dito sa small square na ito. Diba? Once makakita tayo ng small square sa loob ng triangle, that means it is a 90 degree angle. Kaya, meron tayong 90 degrees. Now, simplify natin. Angle R, copy lang kasi wala pa siyang value. So, 90 degrees plus 78 degrees, that is 168 degrees. Oops. 168 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now, simplify natin by transposing 168 degrees to the other side. So, angle R is equal to 180 degrees minus 160 degrees. So, don't forget to change the sign kapag maglilipat ng term. So, subtract nyo lang, ang measure ng angle R natin ay 12 degrees. Mang bakit po ba angle R ang ginamit nyo? Eh, si angle T nga po yung hinahanap. Dahil, dun sa part ng triangle RSB natin, complete ang measures. Meron tayong 78 degrees at 90 degrees. So, ang missing lang dun ay si angle R. At si angle R, yung kakongruent or kakorresponding ni angle T. So, kung ang measure ni angle R ay 12 degrees, therefore, ang measure din ni angle T ay 12 degrees, which is also the value of X. So, ang X na po natin dyan ay 12 degrees. Ayan. Okay. Now, let's move on to the next one. So, palitan na natin si X. That should be 12 degrees. Okay, now, after solving for the value of x, let us solve for the value of y. So, dito na lang sa side na to, kasi ito yung free space. So, as you can see, yung y natin ay measure ng side. So, anong name ng side dito? We have there the side RS, which is congruent to side TV. So, sulat muna natin siya. So, dahil congruent sila sa isa't isa, meaning they have an equal measure. So, RS, huwag na natin isulat si segment kasi measures na yung pinag-uusapan. So, we have RS is equal to TV. So, ano yung value ni RS? Ang value ni RS ay 2Y minus 1. Anong value ni TV? We have 24. So, naka-equate sila sa isa't isa kasi nga equal yung measures nila. So, meron na tayong equation. 2y minus 1 is equal to 24. Ngayon, dahil meron na tayong equation, pwede na natin siyang isimplify. Okay. So, 2y minus 1 is equal to 24. Pwede natin itranspose si negative 1 sa kabila. So, it will become 2y is equal to 24. Negative 1, pang pinranspose, magiging positive 1. So, we have, copy lang ulit si 2y kasi wala pa siyang value. 24 plus 1, that is 20. 5. Now, may value na ba tayo ng y? Wala pa rin. Because we need to eliminate 2 yung katabi ni y. So, para may iwan si y, let us divide both sides by 2. So, y is equal to 12.5. So, that is the value of our y. So, meron tayong value ng, ng x which is 12 degrees at value ng y which is 12.5. So, pwede rin natin makuha yung measure, pwede rin natin siyang i-check using the measure or expression of RS which is equal to 2Y minus 1 by substituting the value of Y. So, the value of Y is 
then minus 1. So 2 times 12.5, that is 25 minus 1. The side RS measures 24, which is the same measure of PV. So meaning, that equal na sila sa isa't isa, tama yung ginawa nating process in solving the value of Y. So that's how we solve the values of X and Y using the expressions and equations. That's all for today, grade 8. Thank you so much for watching our video tutorial. So let us see each other again on our next video. So I hope you've learned a lot from this lessons. Thank you and goodbye!